Right, so a friend of mine asked me this actually. We've been playing around making welders and arc furnaces and almost universally for the welders we've been using this stuff which is welding rod obviously and for the arc furnaces we've been using these things which is uh, which are carbon rods. Now these carbon rods they're dead easy to get hold of all you really need to do is crack open one of them in there you'll see four cells just pull these out of the center of the cells and you'll have four of them so they're dead easy to get hold of. They are full of waxes, so when you first use them, they will um, burn all those waxes off. But it's only about the first once or twice, and then it's just a perfectly usable carbon rod. But anyway, he asked me, OK, you can use the carbon rods in the furnace. Can you use them to weld? And I thought, well, that's actually a really interesting question. And it led to this, which is probably the simplest welder you're ever going to be able to build and it's just so simple there's hardly anything to it what I've got here is a 12 volt battery and then a couple of jumper cables we attach the positive to the positive obviously negative to the negative and then we're actually pretty much ready to go we can hold that with the the carbon rod in there just holding it like that uh, I think that's a little bit unfirm, so to speak. It's better than trying to hold a welding rod, but still a little unfirm, but you can do it. But I like this stuff. This is uh, a locking plier, obviously. And if we take our carbon rod, we can hold it in the locking pliers quite easily. Now we're gonna use something called negative DC. So that will actually get attached to the workpiece. And this gets attached to the negative in this case. We pop that on there, that's ready to go. Now for the workpiece, all I'm going to use is a couple of these scrap bits of steel that I got from uh, a transformer core actually. It's just thin silicon steel. We hold a bit of that onto the workbench using the other ones, the other locking pliers. Then we can connect our positive to here and that then will become the connection. Okay, so we're ready to go and give it a go. Oh. That actually worked. Okay, so uh, let's give you a close-up of that. So there's the bit we just welded. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, it's kind of put a spot weld on it actually, right, right there. But that's welded together. Let's give it another go with another bit. So there we go. Can we weld with the carbon rod? Yes. <laughs> so there we go. Probably the simplest welding you could ever build. And yes, a carbon rod welds and actually it does a pretty good job. That's very cool. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.